Well, talking about the international development uh, and especially to make population can fully grasp what we are doing. I think this is a very important question. First, I think we now facing with a totally different uh, environment. Uh, the world is now becoming very connected because of the information technology and so on. We are globalized with the trade uh, across uh, country to countries, but also the problem that we are facing, like climate change and so on, cannot be addressed by only one country, one sovereign country alone. So this will require more and more collaboration across country. And with the combination of the demand of the people that any institution operate need to be transparent, accountable, and be accountable means that you can explain the result and the effect of what you are doing. I think this will press more and more institutions, for example, like the World Bank, to change in terms of the way we operate. We definitely want to be closer to the client, to the people, but we want to explain better about what we are doing. But what we are doing is not the most important thing. What is most important for the country is actually their own development program, their own institutional capacity, their own ability to make a good public choices. And that is something that for many international development agency, including the World Bank in this case, have to respect more and more stronger ownership of the country, but at the same time have to operate effectively with the environment which is more and more transparent. I think this is going to be a challenge, but at the same time also will force us to change for a better. Well, this SIT uh, World Congress is really important in providing the forum for all uh, the development activists and players to speak each other or even to exchange view and even discussing a many of very important topic in this case. And while we always look also back in terms of looking on the historical experience that we are having, but we always have the tendon, or in this case, the, the orientation to look at the future, which is I think is much, much more important because the challenge ahead is really, really not becoming easier. I mean, despite all the progress that we've already achieved on a development, whether you are measuring in the Millennium Development Goal, whether you are talking about the improvement in, in terms of the quality of condition, but we are now facing with a new totally changed uh, 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 development challenge, whether this is climate change that will demand the adaptation of a country and the ability to mitigate through their development uh, design, with, or this is related to the food crisis, in which uh, while there are many affluent group of people is now becoming very affluent, we still having more than one billion people, which is still live in hunger. And then the problem of fuel, in which we are talking about energy. If people becoming more and more, or many countries becoming, fr moving from low to middle income country, they are going to demand more and more energy, and that will create a pressure for the global, uh, both in the mother energy resources, whether this is renewable and non-renewable. So this is going to be a challenging environment for all countries to face. It's not going to be easier, but I think this is a man uh, doable if the partnership and collaboration, and that's why this kind of in, uh, meeting by SIT World Congress is becoming very important. The problem as well as the solution is actually not only driven by the government to government. It is now uh, demanding the participation of many stakeholders of development, whether this is private sectors, CSO or NGO, or people in general. The problem that we are facing in this case with the world which is becoming globalized and connected that the information can be easily actually trans, uh, transferred to many different uh, parts of the globe. And this kind of meeting is going to be very important because then you can come up with more or less a certain understanding that can be shared globally in a very fast and efficient way. Another thing is also to give an opportunity to narrow the gap and knowledge whether this is between the low-income country, middle-income country, or high-income country, but also among or across the development partner in a way. As I said, that now if we look at the situation 
in which many low income country become middle income country they are becoming a partner they become even contributor to the development and that's why change in terms of the composition will require more and much intense communication i think this kind of forum is going to be very very useful